To calculate the formal charges for SO3, we'll start with the central sulfur atom. Sulfur is in group 16 or 6A on the periodic table, so it has six valence electrons, and we'll subtract the non-bonding valence electrons. All the electrons around the sulfur are involved in those double bonds, so there are no non-bonding valence electrons. And then bonding, we have three double bonds, so we have a total of 12 valence electrons, bonding valence electrons, which we'll divide by two. Six minus zero minus six equals zero. So the formal charge on sulfur is zero. All of the oxygens are symmetrical, so we're only gonna calculate the formal charges on one. That'll apply to all of them. Oxygen in group 16 or 6A, six valence electrons. Subtract from that the non-bonding electrons. We have four non-bonding valence electrons on each oxygen. And then we'll subtract the bonding valence electrons, and we have four bonding valence electrons. Divide that by two. Six minus four minus two gives us zero. So the formal charges on the oxygen, each one of those, is going to be zero. If we add up the formal charges for each atom, we find that the formal charges for the entire SO3 molecule is zero. And that makes sense because SO3 is not a charged molecule. So that's it. Those are the formal charges for SO3. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.